Hey, so look, we need to talk about your draft day fit, MP. Now look, I know we said we're gonna do something low-key and watch it at home, but I just, I still want you putting some effort into it. What makes you think I won't, bro? Do you remember when you wore overalls to the eighth grade dinner dance? Hey, yo, you talking about them overalls? I look good. I was in the like, yeah, hi, what's up? How you doing? Please. <laughs> MP, what's going on? How many girls did you dance with? That's not the point, Ricky. That's not the point of a dance? All right, maybe you're right, bro. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> look, anyway, I'm gonna be taking pics and putting them on social, so I just, I want you to think about how you want to be perceived. I can't just wear like a t-shirt or something, man? No, 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 you could, you could, but if you do that, I want it to be a choice, all right? Not just what you wore to bed last night. Look, at this level, we've got to be way more conscious about your personal brand. Everything you do in public affects the public's perception of you. And the public's perception determines what kind of career you're going to have. Perception's reality. <sighs> exactly. Yeah. Look, so now's the time to create the reality that you want for yourself. Look, if you want to be the guy in the suit, be the suit guy. But if you want to be the guy in the streetwear, be the streetwear guy. Commit to it, All yeah. right, but either way, you have to pick a lane before you dominate. You gotta have intention with every action. That's how you get ahead in this game. Hey, I like the mogul side of you. It's all serious and stuff. Hey, you kind of respectable too, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that. But look, just think about it, okay? Yeah. Look, whatever you choose, I want you looking fly on draft night. You only get one personal brand, so don't mess it up. And look, Ricky. That ain't a problem, bro. Hey, <laughs> I was in the dance like, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, look, I know we wanted to keep your draft party low-key, but you don't have to look like you at a funeral, bro. Mm, not funeral exactly. I'm, I'm getting more of a dentist waiting room vibe. <laughs> Yo, I can actually see that. <laughs> yeah, you know, doesn't want to be bro, there. Bro, bro, we get best. it. Y'all got jokes. We get it, man. <laughs> hey, man, look, we just trying to loosen you up, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm good, man. This is this is an eerie feeling, bro. This is the biggest day of my life. And we just sitting in my apartment like this is just some other day. It's not, bro. My whole life's about to change. Are y'all not understanding that? Nah, I get it. You, you probably need some food. You want, you want me to Ricky, get you some water? Stop playing, no, wait, wait, bro. Wait, wait, listen, Tell listen. for a second. MP, I feel you, bro. Okay, because I remember when I first got that call from Barbara that I was hired, and I knew my whole world was about to change. And I'm sitting there in my boxer shorts. Netflix paused in the background. <laughs> hey, yo, what was you watching? I'm, I'm looking for a new show. The point is, is that knowing your life's about to change and living it, two completely different things. This whole moment's all contrived for the cameras, but the real deal is walking into that training facility for the very first time as an NBA player. That's when you're gonna really feel it. You see, it hit me when MP was in middle school, but I'm used to waiting for the whole world to play catch up. I mean, that's kind of my whole thing. You got enough for talent, I'll give you that, Rick. You know, I always liked you, Charles. And just so you know, I am keeping a list of everybody that got drafted before you because yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this is disrespectful, bro. Yo, Ricky, man, chill. This is exactly what we expected. MP still going in the first round? You gotta just... Relax. All right, yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, he bulletin board material. All right, man, just don't stress out the client, man. Manage me one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you, bro. You rattling the talent, homie. Hold up. Mr. Lesser, sir, how are you? Yeah, I got him right here. One sec. Hello? MP, Harvey Lasser here. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the New York Knicks. Thank you so much, sir, Mr. Lesser, man. This is an honor. <laughs> Happy to hear that. Now go celebrate. We get to work soon. Absolutely, sir, man. Thank you. Thank you. With the 58th pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select MP. I'm in the NBA. Th th that's the basketball league, because you, you know those guys are pretty good, right? I'm in the NBA! You in the NBA! I'm in the NBA, baby! Yeah. 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 Let's go! Congrats, MP. Your whole world's about to change. Hey, yo, hold on, hold on. Hey, Everybody get together. We got to get a picture for the hey, yeah, come on, hold come on, on, come on, come on. Come on, look cool, Charles. Hey, low blow. Let's go. Hey, three. Ah. All right, 
Hey, hold on. Like, no, no, no. We gotta take it again. Charles, look cool. Hey, man. He always cool, a liar. Like, no, 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 come, no, come on, come on, come on. Percent more man, cool. You got this. Let's go. Ahead, go. Ahead, Three, two. Okay, that's it. That's I need it. that on my socials right now, bro. I got you. I'm a pro, chop, chop, oh, Ricky. Oh, you a pro, but you ain't gotta chop, chop me, bro. I chop, chop whoever I want, bro. Uh -oh, All right, chop, chop uh -oh. me again. I'm gonna make sure those hands never chop. Oh, chop. you go bite the hand that feeds you. Look, I knew you didn't have no book sense, but I thought you had some common sense. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Ricky. You got a better grade than me once in our entire lives. Bro. Yeah, but I sold the dopest pillow in home. Egg. Uh. All right, you did. I don't care. Neon stripes, though. Yo, those stripes go hard. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You guys could be the next Jesus and Miro if this basketball thing No, no, work no, out. no, Charles. No, 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 no. Don't gas this dude up. He don't make him think he's funnier than what he is. Do you see what I have to deal with, bro? I pour so much love in him, but it's just a one-way street. Hey, maybe it's more of an odd couple kind of vibe. But hey, either way, we can handle that. What do you guys think about a reality TV show? Charles, pump the brakes, bro. Let me start my NBA career first, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's let's do that. You I'm in the NBA! Ah, 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 let's go, baby! Ah, let's go! Ah, Hey, uh, I gotta talk to you about something. What's up, bro? Well, look, as much as I love sharing this shoebox with you, I was thinking maybe we'd get ourselves something a little nicer, you know, now that you're in the NBA. Just bro, thought. What you talking about? This place cozy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, cozy, suffocating. There's plenty of things you can call it. Okay, so tell me this. Whose money are we using? Oh, yours. Mostly. Seems like a great deal for you, huh, Rick? For, for me? Well, you want me to sit here and explain all the things that I've done for you in my life? Well, let's start with the fact that, one, I'm your manager. The man that works day and night to get you more business opportunities that, oh, that's right, make you more money. Honestly, the fact that you can sit here and try and Ricky, act Ricky, like I'm Ricky, trying... Ricky, 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 get out your feelings, bro. I was just playing. Yeah, well, there's truth to every joke, MP. Okay. Hey, look. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Can we move on now, bro? Dang. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Right, so what you looking? What you find? Oh, don't worry. I'm going to find us an apartment. I'm going to furnish it, set up utilities, the whole nine. Hey, yo, and make sure we got natural light. This place kind of dark. Oh, and make sure it's not so claustrophobic and we need leather couch for sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want, MP. Ooh, foosball. Mini machines. Are you trying to live in an arcade? Because I just don't think that's the best look for a single dude. I, I, I don't worry about me, bro. I'm going to be fine. I'm not so sure about that. Look, I'm going to handle the apartment, and I'll let you know when we got an update. Good to see you.
Thanks for stopping. Have a nice day. Hey, good to see you. Welcome in. MP, welcome back. So great to see you again. How are you? Excited for your meeting? We're very excited to have you on board. What was your name again? Oh, Adriana. Adriana, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet you're pumped for your meeting. I've heard Charles have some great things planned for you. That's, that's exciting. Okay. <laughs> well, he's in the conference room. If you want to head on in, he's expecting you. Awesome. Thank you, Adriana. Yeah, you're very welcome. What's going on, Charles? Listen, man, we need to talk about something. Why you look so pressed? Am I in trouble? I wouldn't call it trouble exactly. Watch this. I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house. And that issue is MP. Let's talk about MP. I'm hearing his coach isn't a fan. Thinks he's more into fame than actually hooping. And I gotta say, I agree, wholeheartedly. You hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. LeBron James don't have no YouTube channel. Let's get serious here, people. I'd be shocked if MP starts a game this year. This coach isn't starstruck. He's going to make MP earn every single minute, as it should be. But hey. Maybe I'm wrong. All eyes are on MP now. Is he going to fold under the pressure? If I'm Harvey Lesser, the GM who overruled his coach, I'm up at night sweating all over this. Good luck, Mr. Lesser. You and MP are going to need it. So what, Charles? Look, that's, that's Pert. He always talking about something crazy. There's some truth to this one, though. So when does that air? It airs tonight. I know a guy. Wait, Charles, what you trying to tell me? I'm, I'm in a doghouse or something, man? Well, there's some truth to it. You weren't coach's first choice for the draft spot. He got overruled by Harvey, so here we are. And let me guess, you you know a guy who told you that, huh? It's my job to know a guy, MP. That's how I get actionable intelligence to help my clients make the best decision possible. But this not making sense. Coach, we've been cool. He's been treating me fair. And plus, he wouldn't publicly antagonize me. You know what I'm saying? He's been around a minute. Coach know how to keep this on lock? Listen. It might be a while before you get some serious playing time. Okay, there's a lot of egos involved here, and coach is not the type to back down. Charles, you trying to tell me I'm not about to be playing because I'm on YouTube? That's crazy, bro. I'm less sure that that's the real issue, but for whatever reason, he's not your biggest fan. 
front offices aren't always 100% aligned. And, 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 and what's a while before real time? You got options, okay? Starting with being the good soldier. Show up to practice early. You stay late. You listen to what coach is asking of you, and you deliver. What's the other option? Go to Harvey Direct. Let them know that you're not being utilized. Or go public. I mean, every choice has pros and cons. It just depends on how you want to steer the narrative. So I feel like you're most excited about the social thing. <laughs> well, I mean, don't get me wrong. It would be fun, but it's just one option. I mean, in the end, you're going to have to choose what's right for you, both as a person and as a public figure. I can't make that decision for you. Look, if coach winds up being the issue, I deal with that. But it's too soon to be complaining about PT time. I just got here, man. And all you got to do is just be the best MP you can be. You sound like, you know what you sound like? You sound like one of them old army PSAs. Be all you can be. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, all I'm saying is if you want to do the good soldier thing, that's fine. But no complaining. No acknowledging frustration with coaches' decisions. Yep. None of that, OK? Yep. You got to be the good guy all the way, or else you'll earn a reputation for being a fake. Look, understood. All right, that's what we'll do. Look who's back. Back again. Coachy's back. Tell a friend. Yo, that was that was cringe, coach. <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of an Eminem guy. Don't really connect with the material. That's probably what you're reacting to. Oh man, it's good to see you. You know, it's, I feel good to have somebody back in my corner, especially somebody who know my game the way you do. Someone who helped build your game. No doubt, you definitely was a huge help. <laughs> good to see you, MP. So Harvey, he got you back as my personal guru. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, he liked the work I did with you, and I'm Ooh. a pretty good interview, Ooh. so here we are. All right, so I, I got a question for you. Uh-oh, serious mode. Um, What's up? You know about coaching, Lester, and all that stuff, right? Okay, what about it? Well, you know coach on like a, a coach level, so what, what should I do? Or did he say anything to you? Well, nothing specific. Some offhanded stuff here or there, but, uh, you know, I know he wasn't thrilled about the whole YouTube thing, but he just wants to win. That's all he cares about. So if you put in the work, help us win, I guarantee you'll get playing time. Look, you know I'm not scared of no hard work. All right, well, good. Well, I spent some time, put together a plan. Okay. Some goals to keep you on track. You accomplish those goals, and you'll be in the starting lineup sooner rather than later. So I'm not starting. I know this isn't how you picture things playing out to start your career. But you give me everything you got, and you're going to earn a place in that starting lineup. No one's going to stand in your way. Not Coach, not Harvey, not anyone. <laughs> you got me kind of fired up, Coach G. I like that. Yeah, well, I was listening to Meek Mill on the way to work today. Dreams and nightmares. Not bad. Gets the blood pumping. Hey, look, you're only about a decade late, but that's good for you. So that's we starting somewhere good. That's All good. right. You can go, kid. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you too, coach. <laughs>
What up, Rick? Yeah, you know, not much. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about the new affiliation course. Oh, that new rooftop joint? Mm hmm Yeah, I saw some dudes up there, bro. Yeah, apparently they're open now. So I went and checked them out. They got any hoopers? They got kind of a regular crew, yeah. Got these group of guys that call themselves the Western Wildcats. But the best dude is this guy named Shammy Wells. What's this dude? <laughs> Knockdown shooter, no conscience, and he's got some G League and NBA experience. Hey, good looking, Rick. Yeah, man. So if you want to put up some shots, I'd head over there. But if you want some real competition, find Shammy. Shammy? I got it. Yeah, he's the captain of the City Slams team, too. What's that again? It's a competition run by Jackson Ellis. Uh, yo, that dude's hilarious, bro. Not much of a hooper, though, but oh, no, he's no, no, funny. No. He is a character, that's for sure. And, you know, he puts on this, uh, I don't want to call it a tournament. It's more like a series of challenges. You know, like weird rules and stuff. But they got dudes that can hoop, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It attracts some big names. You'd be surprised. You know, sort of like a neighborhood bragging rights kind of thing. Okay, okay. Look, I might have to check that out, bro. I mean, it's up to you. I just want you to know about it. Hey, look, good looking out, Rick. Always. And Greg, with over a decade you had in the NBA, is there go. an opening night that you remember most? Man, that very first time. about three minutes into this first quarter. Randall finds Walker. New York moving the ball around. Out left to the wing. Remaining in the first. Two minutes. Kicks it out to MP. Shot clock at five. On the wing. Off the left rim and out. Celtics leading by nine. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Neesmith uses the glass to finish the lane. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. MP deciding where to go with it. Pass to Randall. That's tipped. We've seen Tice amongst the lead the leaders. New York ball. One fifteen left to play in the first quarter. 
to the inside. Locked again. Here's Pritchard. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Tice passes to White. To the right side. The dive for the ball. And it's out of bounds. Last touchdown. Surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. From deep, Walker. Rebound, Boston. And this matchup with the Knicks, hard to believe, just the first game of the NBA's 82-game regular season. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Uh, so uh, we're going to say they're going to be familiar with each other, huh? But, but even so, these teams will learn about each other tonight. So much changes from year to year. To the middle, there's Noel, and slam dunk by Noel. That is prime time point guard play. A sensational find by Walker to set up this Jalen Brown has been leading the charge. The end of the first quarter with the score. The Knicks, 16. The Celtics, your Knicks, City Dancer. in for Evan Fournier and Walker subbed in for quickly and a new group in for the Celtics Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams Williams comes in for Al Horford Neesmith he's checked in for Jason Tatum and it's Pritchard in for Brown Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair Kemba Walker is out there with Alec Burks and it's MP in at the three -star. that's the five for New York right now well, the shooter of Walker's catalog. You can't allow him to shoot. His feet Celtics lead 45. Tice with a screen on Walker. Here's Pritchard. Robinson with the block. Now, here's MP. T right on him. To get open is Robinson. That's it. The Celtic lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from MP. And Greg, MP, the highly touted rookie, he was a classic one and done in college. And that wasn't a surprise to anyone close to MP. He feels his game is NBA ready and wanted to compete against the best as soon as possible. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Shoots from eight. MP, no good. Celtics leading by 10. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Passes it to Neesmith. Here's Pritchard. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Pritchard's got his first points of the game. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Burks on the wing. Picked by Randall. One second left. Green for two points. Great work to find the space to get off the open jump. He's going to work hard. 39. That's the end of the first half with a score. The Knicks. 39, the Celtics, 49. Like he did in the... Celtics substitution. 
Ball comes in for R.J. Barrett. Alec Burks checked in for Evan Fournier. And Walker subbed in for Derrick Rose. And a new group in for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Al Horford. White is checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. And Walker kicks to MP. It's a nice passing by New York here. It's tipped. It's stolen by Tice. Here's Tatum. Reddish grabs the rebound. And here's MP for three. And so it's the Boston Celtics. The Knicks. 67. Your Knicks. City Dancer. It's the fourth quarter. And that intervention is a pop. Reddish comes in for Julius Wren. MPs checked in for Kemba Walker. And quickly in Celtic for Barry. Then for the Celtics, Al Horford is checked in for Williams. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Jason Tatum. The Celtics also changing it up. Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams. Neesmith comes in for Jalen Brown. And Smart subbed in for Derek White. On the court right now for the Celtics. Horford is out there with Neesmith. Then there's Daniel Tice. Then it's Marcus Smart. And it's Pritchard in at the one spot. There's the pass to Neesmith. Pass to Horford. To the wing on the left. Now here's Neesmith. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. That's the end of the ball game. Thank you, everyone, for making it out and supporting your team. We hope to see you again soon for the next home game. Okay. Yeah, Frank, what do you got? Hi there, Frank Valentine here. Hey, it looked like you were out of your depth tonight. Now, does this validate the concerns about you on draft night? How you doing, Frank? Um, are you serious with that question? I mean, it was one game. Everybody has an off night, and that just goes to show that even before I got here, a lot of folks made up their mind about me just because I had a YouTube channel. But you know what, that's fine. <laughs> You're gonna get plenty of opportunities to see me play and they won't like that at all. So, but what if they do? They won't. Yeah, but so how do you know? How do you make sure? I'm gonna play better than I did next game, Frank. You'll see. <laughs> well, I sure hope so, uh, at least for your sake. <laughs> Hey, MP, you feeling good? Yeah, I am. I'm good, you man. You sure? You know, you look like you need some fresh air. Maybe you should go take a walk. No, I'm good, bro. I actually, was actually, you should go put on a fresh new outfit, you know, something flashy. Let the people see how you feeling. So this like a, a striker pose thing and not like a mental health thing? <laughs> look, I'm just saying, man, every time you step outside looking the way that you do, people are talking. They're posting pictures. First comment's always something like, oh my god, there's MP. Second comment, look at what he's wearing. Straight fire. Dog, every time that happens, we get one step closer to changing the game. I'm just saying.
Think it over. Huddle up! One game won't kill us, but we need to correct our mistakes right now so it doesn't become a habit. All right, let's put in good work today. If we can improve our shooting percentages, we stand a better chance of winning games. Today we're gonna focus on putting the ball in the basket. And okay, let's get to it. Your mind, Mike. Job. Let's move on to the next drill. Turn it up! Turn it up! Yeah, let's go! Let me do it! Let's go! 
Come on, MP. Way to finish strong, guys. Make sure you get some shots up before you get out of here, though. Good to see someone who values the mid-range game. Well, let's see how this works. Hey, I'm doing? Catherine Hanover. I handle PR for the team. Okay. How are you doing? You know, I got, I'm super excited. Great. I got these. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Look, I got these ideas. I'm gonna that stop I'm... you there. No time for chit chat. Okay. I'm putting out infernos, burning embers, and a couple fires where I'm the only one who smells smoke. Wow. I'm literally in three meetings right now. I sleep in my office twice a week. My kids' birthday invitations are press releases, and I craft players' social media posts in my dreams. Okay, so so what do you need from me? Like? Don't interrupt, but that's a great question. I wasn't asking a question. Have you ever heard of the fable of the four oxen and the lion? I'm afraid I, I haven't. Well, no. I don't have the time to tell it, so I'll give you the gist. Actually, no time for that. Only have time for the moral. United we stand, divided we fall. Imagine that, but with oxen. Inspiring. You and Coach aren't getting along. I mean, it's clear that I'm not his first choice. You know what I'm saying? And I can be a huge asset to this team. I don't care if you and Coach are sitting oh by the campfire God. singing Kumbaya. What I care about is what the public feels about your relationship. So, I need you to do an interview with John Luck where you sit down and you explain that everything is copacetic. Yeah, but clearly. That's, that's not the truth, though. Perception is reality. Nobody likes a boat rocker, especially me. Okay. Sit down with John Luck. Say what needs to be said so we can all move on. You go back to basketball and 
I'll go back to dreaming of someday being able to sit down for a meal instead of scarfing down a shawarma wrap in the elevator. <laughs> the shawarma wrap. You didn't find that funny. I got it. Okay, I got it. You're welcome to stay, but I'll be ignoring you from here on out. Okay, well, thank you. You're ignoring me, okay? You have a great day, Miss Hanover. She is a nut basket. Damn, if you're double teamed, I'm still gonna score. Bro, there's Triple no team. way. I'm there's still gonna no score. Way. MP. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, DJ? Hey, yo, Sam, how you doing? Yeah, nah. Okay. So, MP, I heard you've been hanging out west, man. What's the deal? You looking for a game? Nah, I was just going down to check out the city slam, trying to see if the Wildcats, you know, need a teammate or no. something. I think we're uh, shamming No, is. what I'm trying to say is no. Look, we already got a squad, and we run like a well oiled machine. I'm saying, look. You made a couple of videos. That don't mean you're a team player. I know Shammy Wells is not lecturing me about being a team player. Are you serious? Yeah, I am a team player. My teammates give me the ball, <laughs> I get the bucket. Look, look, <laughs> okay. I think what Shammy's trying to say is we already have a good team, bro. And it's a little too close to the slam to be shaking things up. Yeah, man, just stick to making YouTube videos or something. YouTube videos, look, I expect that from Mr. Poppin' Shot, but bro, you know what I bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And honestly, man, I'm better than all your cats on your team, so. How you gonna say you better than all the cats on our team, man? Look, if you think you're the best, step out on that court and prove it. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yo, who you thinking? 
Man, waves are kind of flat today, so Kelly. Kelly. You gonna challenge me with a surfer, huh? Look, I know it seems that Kelly belongs on the sand, but look, you haven't seen him make runners in his board shorts and flip flops, all right? You get him in some real kicks, whoo, you're gonna wish he was out on them waves. Bro. All right, well, look, Little Hand says it's time to rock and roll. Hey, yo, tell your point break to meet me on the court, okay? Yeah, running looks good on you. You show? Oh, that might have been a mistake. My boy Kelly about to carve you up. <laughs> Somebody better haul him out of the water. <laughs> Let's go.